Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? We've reached the final item of the evening, and it promises to be quite the spectacle. The bidding has been fierce all night, but now, let's see who will seize the opportunity to claim this extraordinary piece. Can I hear an opening bid for this magnificent emerald necklace? Oh, come on now, don't be shy. This is your chance to own a piece of history, a treasure beyond compare. Who will start us off? Eight thousand, thank you, sir. Now we're talking. Do I hear any advances? Fifteen thousand. The bids are climbing. Can I hear twenty thousand? Going once, going twice, and sold. Congratulations to our winner. Let's give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for your participation tonight. It's been a wonderful evening. As the auction comes to a close, I invite you to enjoy the buffet for drinks and refreshments. Have a pleasant evening, everyone. Good evening. What a delightful evening it's been, wouldn't you say? Might offer you this cocktail. I happened to pick up the last one, but I couldn't help but notice your interest in it. Oh, you're welcome. It's my pleasure. What did you think of the final price? That necklace is truly splendid. What a shame I spent all my savings on new shelves. Otherwise, I wouldn't have hesitated. <laughs> yes, new shelves. I need them to store the items I buy. You see, I'm a collector. I collect a bit of everything. Seashells, stones, and also organs. Um, what? Well, <laughs> I mean all sorts of living organisms. Is your cocktail to your liking? You barely touched it. I suggest you drink it all before the ice melts. <laughs> well, looks like you are thirsty. Hey, are you alright? You seem a bit pale. Here, come, let, let's sit over here. Can you hear me? Hello? Are you okay? Where did I put that plastic tool? Darn it. I can't see a thing with all this mess. Ah. Oh, finally found it. My dear, are you feeling better? Here, let me help you. Where are you? In my cabinet of curiosities. I've just added a new item to my collection. <laughs> I'm talking about you, of course. You're quite the fascinating specimen, you know. <laughs> my love. There's no need to worry. I'm going to take care of you. I wouldn't harm something as beautiful as you. <laughs> Did I drug you? <laughs> oh no, of course not. I simply administered a small sedative to ensure your transition to my cabinet was smooth. Don't worry if you're feeling a little restrained, dear. I had to tie you up. It was just a precaution. Now I can finally get a good look at you. I spent all evening watching you from afar, without ever being able to see you like this. <sighs> You are truly magnificent. Your hair is so shiny, and those eyes... <sighs> so hypnotic. I wasn't mistaken. You are indeed the most precious prize of this evening. <laughs> you like my collection? I told you I have a certain fascination for all sorts of artifacts. This? It's a python skull. Rather cool, isn't it? Look at its little teeth. Isn't it adorable? Or over here, we have the Xerxes Blue, a butterfly species extinct since 1940. Fortunately, someone managed to preserve one, and now I can observe it forever. Hmm. <sighs> 
I see you're curious. Here, I stored all sorts of parasites, mostly worms, and here I even have a dolphin liver infected with several parasites. Isn't it fascinating? Disgusting. What do you mean? You better watch what you say. <laughs> oh, there's no reason to be so tense. You know I wouldn't harm you, my dear. But still, I advise you not to upset me too much. I wouldn't want to do something I might regret. <laughs> well, now we can get down to business. You see, every object entering my collection must undergo a sort of... conditioning. I need to prepare you, but also choose your placement on one of my shelves. I must admit, I am very excited. You're the first human being I acquired. It's a big moment for me. And for you too, I imagine. My tool? It's just a dissecting clamp. Usually when I receive a new specimen, I try to make it, well, as presentable as possible. So I remove any damaged parts, or I separate the body into several parts to display them. Initially, I had the idea of killing you right now, then displaying your limbs in several so cases, but I think I've grown fond of you. <laughs> Besides, I wouldn't have been able to preserve you properly, because I'm all out of formaldehyde at the moment. We wouldn't want you to rot, would we? So, I'm going to keep you alive. For now. I just need to make a few adjustments to your appearance. First, I'll clean your face. You have a bit of dust on your forehead. It also looks like you drooled on yourself. That must have happened while you were unconscious. <laughs> Perfect. Now your hair. It's all disheveled. It would be a shame if your hair hid your beautiful face, my dear. Well done. I had planned to have you wear a different outfit, but for that I'd have to untie you. There's no way I'm taking such a risk. Besides, you already look very elegant in this outfit. It suits you perfectly. It seems like... well, something's missing. Hmm. Ah! I know! Oh, does this necklace look familiar? <laughs> yes, indeed. It is the last item from the auction. Well, it's true that I couldn't buy it, but while waiting for you to wake up, I was able to meet its buyer and, well, let's say I just borrowed it. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll put it on you. Well, it's not like you can do it yourself anyway. Stunning. You are truly perfect. The only one thing left to do is... <laughs> well, I have to choose which showcase to put you in. I think I'll put you in one of the central cabinets. You deserve it. <laughs> hey, stop squirming. I said stop it. There, there. Stand up straight. Excellent. You fit perfectly. Don't look so panic. I'll come to feed and take care of you. I'm not a monster, my dear. I won't let you die. Not yet. You're much too precious for me. Now be a good object and stay calm, will you? 
I'll come see you tomorrow morning. Try not to make too much noise. I'm a light sleeper. <sighs> Good night, my love. How beautiful dreams. My dear, are you awake? Oh, you are. Well, you still look half asleep. How adorable. Your clothes are all wrinkled. It mustn't be very comfortable to sleep like that. There, there. Let me help you. <sighs> Much better. Perfect. You are truly perfect. Oh my god, I never tire of looking at your face. You're lovely, my love. I could watch you like this for hours. <laughs> well, I have a matter of the utmost importance to discuss with you today. As you know, it's already been two weeks since you've been with me. <laughs> time has flown by. It's as if time goes faster when you're having fun. Don't you think? Oh, don't make that face. You know you're much more charming when you're smiling. So I would prefer it if you smiled. I said, smile. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that isn't... Adorable. Good. You listen so well. It wasn't so difficult, you see? So, where was I? Ah, yes. Do you remember the original buyer of your necklace? <laughs> yes, yes, that one. It brings back memories, doesn't it? <laughs> At the same time, I don't see how you could forget. So, this man... He survived, and he woke up. No, I hadn't tried to kill him. Who do you take me for? When I explained to him that I wanted to borrow his necklace, he wasn't very cooperative. He was rather nosy. The idiot nearly alerted all the guests, and to avoid that I had to knock him out. You see, I didn't harm him at all, really. Well, after that, I thought it was a good opportunity to... test out some medication on him. I simply aimed to put him in a coma. Long and definitive. That's all. But, well, it seems he's tougher than I thought. And especially, he remembers me. Well, let's say he doesn't like me too much. <laughs> all of this to say that now I'm under close scrutiny. It's only a matter of time before someone comes to visit us. And even if I have nothing to hide or to reproach myself for, I don't want to take any risks. I wouldn't want them to see you. Partly because I don't think they'd understand our love, but mainly because you're mine. And I won't let anyone take you away from me. Also, I have a few other stolen items. I would be in quite a fix if they were to be discovered. Hmm, but let's be realistic. Given the little time I have left, I won't be able to hide everything, or eliminate everyone who knows about this unfortunate incident. That's why I've decided to take a more drastic step. <laughs> Re release you. <laughs> That's a good one, my dear. But... I'm not in the mood for jokes, okay? The idea of letting you escape never crossed my mind, of course. You're far too... precious. You're my favorite possession, you know that. No, 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 no. My solution is quite different. We have to run away. Don't look at me like that. It's not about cowardice. 
You see, I have a lovely mansion in a village a few hours from here. I think it's quite a good opportunity for the both of us. See it as a way to start a new life. By my side. It saddens me, but I won't be able to bring my entire collection. At least, not for the moment. I'll have to settle for taking the essentials. First of all, I can't leave without the dolphin lover. I know you appreciate it a lot. I'll also take my jar containing my goliath spider. She's so splendid, but don't be jealous, my dear. You have nothing to envy her about. I'll also take this bat skeleton, this box of gemstones. I think I'll also take some antique clothes. I could have you try them on. I can already imagine you wearing them. Magnificent. Oh, and of course I can't leave without a bit of formaldehyde. <laughs> I think that's it. I have everything we need. Even though... Collecting these items has been a lifelong endeavor. Choosing them was less complicated than I thought. In fact, as long as you're with me, I don't need anything else. <laughs> well, I'm getting all emotional. But I must pull myself together. I have to load all these items into my car, including you. You see... I would like to trust you and let you sit in the passenger seat, but, well, I just can't. You're still too agitated, and as I wouldn't want to hurt you, I prefer to use the good old sedative method. Now be nice and open your mouth wide. <laughs> no. <laughs> you refuse? I advise you to comply immediately. Or would you rather I handle it myself? <laughs> very well, very well. You know your place. Oh, your eyes are closing on their own? <laughs> That's normal, dear. Don't resist. Let me take care of everything. You deserve to rest. There. Hold on to me. Look at you. <laughs> so harmless. Like a little rabbit. <laughs> Don't worry about a thing, my love. This will all be behind us soon. We'll be able to start a new story. Far away from everyone. When you wake up, you'll already be at the mansion. It'll be as if you teleported. Close your eyes, my dear. Let me rock you. See you soon. I love you, my dear. I'll place some corals here. Oh, and this drawer will be for my seashells. And I think I'll use this display case to showcase my butterflies. Yes, yes, that will be perfect. Oh, my dear, I didn't see you there. Did you sleep well? Hmm, very well. I'm glad to see you're adjusting perfectly to our new home. Even so, I had to start over with my entire collection from scratch. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. I still have quite a few items to unpack or set up. It's quite a bit of work after all. But, now that you're here, perhaps you can help me with the organizing? <laughs> Very well. You're being quite obedient. You can empty this box here. The contents aren't particularly fragile. It's mostly books and scientific manuals. Hmm. 
Is there a problem, my love? Oh, right. Well, yes, they're dissection books, so they contain, let's say, graphic elements. <laughs> I forgot about the details. Despite all these old books, some of them have sentimental value. In fact, all the items here are important to me. I'm relieved to have been able to retrieve the majority. If only those nosy neighbors hadn't gotten in my way. I could have retrieved everything. <laughs> Honestly, they should really consider themselves lucky that I was in a delicate position and unable to act freely. If it had been the other way around, they wouldn't have their heads today. Anyway, that's all in the past now. The main thing is that I was able to bring you with me. I couldn't bear to lose my favorite object. Oh, but you are. You are the most precious artifact I've ever possessed, my dear. In any case, you are a great help to me. With your help, we'll soon have everything set up. This collection will be even more beautiful than my old one. Look at this jar here. It contains an immortal jellyfish, Turritopus dormi. This creature has the ability to revert to its juvenile state after reaching maturity, technically making it unable to die. <laughs> Fascinating, isn't it? And this one, it's an old pocket watch. If I remember correctly, it belonged to a watchmaker who claimed he could stop time. But, you know what, I think he was pulling my leg. Anyway, this design is still lovely, so I took it. Oh. The letter you're holding? I think there's also an artifact inside. A mythical creature supposed to be capable of lifting elephants. It would be one of the rare artifacts attributed to this animal. But, honestly, it looks more like an eagle feather. All these objects are fascinating. Each of them has a story, a story that resonates with mine. When I was a child, I was often alone. Lost in a world filled with strange objects that my father collected. It was my only escape, a way to flee from the emptiness that inhabited my daily life. My mother wasn't very present for me and my father, well, let's just say that if he could have traded me for a bag of gemstones, he would have. <laughs> no, don't look so sad, my dear. I don't blame him. Gemstones are quite prized and hard to acquire. But you could say that it was in this atmosphere that I clung to something else. This loneliness forged an obsession in me for these curiosities. Perhaps that's why I'm so meticulous and obsessive, even in love. I fear losing what is precious to me. Well... All this is quite cheerful, but we should continue organizing, shouldn't we? Can you pass me that vase? I'll place it on one of the shelves. I think it'll be perfect here. H hey! What are you doing? Stop! Oh, uh, did I scare you? M my dear, I just, I just wanted to tell you not to touch the pieces of glass. Hey, hey, don't, don't apologize. It, it's true that the vase was precious, but not as much as you. I, if you were hurt, I, I, I wouldn't, I would never have forgiven myself. You understand that, don't you? I have to protect you and keep you safe, always. Are you sure you're okay? Just, here, let me, let me see. Show me your hands, your arms. 
Here, come closer to me. Well, it, it seems to be okay. That's good. I would have felt terrible if you were hurt, but still, we should stop for now. I think you must be tired. Come, I'll take you to your... But my love, you have no say here. You absolutely must rest. Am I clear? Excellent. Here, take my hand, I'll escort you. By the way, what do you think of your room? Does it suit you? Yes? Well, I'm delighted to hear that. Honestly, I considered putting some of my collections in your new room. I thought having an infected liver on your bedside table could be a nice touch. But in the end, I thought you might prefer to decorate it yourself. Oh, it's true that since I brought you here unexpectedly, you haven't been able to bring your belongings. But don't worry, my dear. I'll buy you everything you need. You just need to ask. That reminds me. I did keep a few old clothes you could wear in the meantime. Oh, even better. I could have you try them on now. What do you say? <laughs> I was sure you'd agree. Let's begin. I can't wait to see you in this exquisite outfit. Now you can sit in front of me. Stand straight now. Don't move. First, the top. Just as I imagined. This fabric is truly enchanted by your beauty. Look how well this lace collar suits you. It's superb. <laughs> Perfect. Now let me take care of the bottom. Oh, it's slightly loose here. Let me fix that. Details are important, my dear. Everything must be in order. Yes, that's better. There, it's done. Look at yourself in this mirror. See how magnificent you are? I was considering enhancing your appearance with some accessories, but you're already perfect. I suppose I could add a simple pendant. Here, this one. Excellent. It's very pretty, but in reality, you don't need adornment. You are enough on your own. You're simply... Breathtaking. Your presence alone is enough to overshadow everything else. No need to wonder why I noticed you immediately at the auction. Your face so delicate. Your skin soft as silk. Your vision of grace and elegance. A living work of art that immediately captivated me. And it's not just your outer beauty that struck me. It's also that sparkle in your eyes. The way you carry yourself, your presence alone is enough to hold my attention. You're much more than just a beautiful appearance. You're an extraordinary person. It's strange, really. I find it hard to put into words what I feel. Is it love? <laughs> Perhaps. What I know is that I no longer particularly want to put you behind glass. Looking back, it would be a crime to hide your beauty in a cabinet. The mere thought of confining you now seems intolerable. You deserve to shine freely under my gaze, of course. I don't just want to possess you, I want to appreciate you, cherish you every day. Who would have thought? Me, the obsessive collector, searching for the perfect object, finds myself feeling something other than 
obsession. When I think that I consider dissecting you, all of this seems distant now. I suppose I'm simply destined to be infatuated with you. But that doesn't mean I'll give up all control. You're mine, and I won't let anyone take you away. But you can be sure that I'll protect you always. I will take care of you, my love. Because you are much more than just a curiosity in my cabinet now. You are my partner, and I simply cannot let you go. We will stay together. Forever. My, my dear. Hey, hey, wake up. There. Perfect. Now calm down. Don't struggle so much. Stop struggling, for God's sake! Now, I got you. You shouldn't be able to wriggle so much anymore. I wanted to try and proceed with the examination without tying you up. I think I was being overly optimistic. To say the least, you're not very cooperative. <laughs> well, it won't make a big difference, though it will make things a bit more... delicate. Still, I have to tie you to the table. I think it'll make you much more obedient. Mm. Too bad you're still too weak. Your protests and attempts to flee really have no impact. There. You are perfectly immobilized. Oh, are you looking around? It's true. It's the first time you've been here. In fact, since I brought you to the manor. You haven't really had a chance to explore, but it doesn't matter. After all, you are just an object. I don't need a room, leisure activities, or even hope. I may sound condescending, but it's fine. After all, I take great care of my collection. My objects, they're much more than mere trinkets. Each one is precious to me in its own way. They all have a story. And soon, you will be part of it. Hmm. Did I see you tremble just now? Are you scared, my dear? Am I impressing you? Good. That makes things much more... exciting. You're like a little insect struggling for its life. It's quite endearing in a way. Oh, but don't worry. It's not like I'm trying to offend you with this comparison. In reality, many insects are invaluable and highly prized by collectors. You are so... perfect. You are my greatest acquisition, and soon you will become my masterpiece. I'm going to repair you, sculpt you, until you are as magnificent as the rest of my artifacts. You can't escape me anymore. You are mine. And I will keep you here forever. You see, I could tell you that you're lucky to be here. You're going to become something truly extraordinary. You should be grateful. Let me just gather my equipment. Everything must go as planned. After all, it's the big day. <laughs> Well, I'm ready. And you? Are you eager to begin? Oh, you look terrified. Don't be. Everything will be fine. At least for now. We'll start with something very simple. I'll start with a little cleaning. Hygiene is very important. Let's start with your face. We wouldn't want dirt to mar your brilliance. <sighs> That's better. You are truly radiant. Now, your neck and shoulders. There, just relax. 
Your skin is so delicate. So fragile I could leave a mark on it. Then your arms. <laughs> How soft they are. It's almost a shame to transform them, but it's for a good cause, you understand? Finally, your hands. So small and so fragile. It's rather cute. Now that you're properly disinfected, we can move on to the next step. You know, <laughs> I'm trying really hard to hold back my excitement. I was really eager to start my transformation, but it would be a shame to rush things. After all, it's not every day I have a human being at my mercy. To do with as I please, it'd be foolish to damage you right away. No, no. I'll first test a few products on you. I'm sure you'll love it. I'll start with something simple, just to see how you react. Don't worry, it shouldn't be too painful, I think. Actually, you know, I haven't tested this serum on myself. But if it reassures you, I used it on a rat. Don't worry, the rat was fine after the injection except for the excessive drooling and the fact that it died barely 24 hours later. But there's no need to be so pessimistic. We can't really predict what will happen. That's what's exciting, don't you think? Don't panic, it's just a little prick. Nothing too painful, I promise. Shh. Stop whining. Hey, keep it down. I advise you to calm down, or do you want me to get rid of you now? Good. I knew you'd understand. You listen so well. So, let's see what this injection does. Oh, you're not reacting as expected. It's quite fascinating. Your veins are starting to turn black. It's <laughs> rather amusing. <laughs> They're almost completely visible through your skin. In your skin, it looks like it's developing a grayish undertone. It's... it's interesting. <laughs> Is this normal? <laughs> well, I actually have no idea. After all, I'm a collector, not a doctor. I hope you don't die immediately. I have a few more things to test. Looking closer, it seems your pupils are dilating unusually. Maybe the liquid affected your vision? <sighs> it's still fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. You know what? This is the perfect occasion to test a new ointment. I'm almost sure it's harmless. After all, I made it with rare plants. If I apply it to you this way on your skin, let's see what it does to you. It shouldn't be worse than the serum. I mean, at least I hope it's not. <gasps> Surprising. Your veins remain dark, but now your skin seems more... rigid. Uh, I think I overdid the toxin in my preparation. I should hurry for the next part before you become completely paralyzed. I'm sorry, my dear. I know you're enjoying the moment. Unfortunately, we're about to enter a phase much less pleasant, to put it mildly. Now that we're done with the light products, let's move on to something more... intense. It's only small incisions. Just tiny cuts, nothing more. I'm sure you can handle it. A little cut here. Oh, another here. You know, if you keep struggling, the pain will only get worse. You don't want me to hurt you, do you? 
Then stay still. It's for your own good. And there. That was the last one. <sighs> Beautiful. These marks really highlight your skin. <laughs> Excellent. You are truly becoming one of my finest creations. Your body is incredibly responsive. It's as if it's calling out to me, begging to be transformed into something beautiful and unique. Every little detail of your being obsesses me. Every mark, every reaction, everything fascinates me. You have become my obsession, my masterpiece. Oh, you can't even imagine how precious you are to me. Now let me tell you something. You must remain still. You have no choice. If you move, you risk ruining everything. And that would be a shame, wouldn't it? We worked so hard to get here. <laughs> this cut will be a bit bigger. But don't worry. I'll be very precise. You'll hardly feel a thing. <laughs> Look at that! You're even more beautiful on the inside. Your flesh is sublime. <laughs> oh, love, are you suffering? Yet you should rejoice. Every piece I detach from you becomes a precious part of my collection. You are finally taking shape. <laughs> you know, you are much more than just an object to me. You are my greatest project, my greatest achievement, and when I look at what we've accomplished together, it's truly made me happy. Well, it seems your body is reaching its limits. I fear our time together is coming to an end. But don't worry, you will live on forever in my collection. Don't be afraid, my love. Each of your limbs will have its own place on my fabulous cabinet of curiosities. <laughs>